What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Hakari from Jujutsu Kaisen. This is from the manga. I don't think he's been in the show yet. Um, but this is his sort of dance pose. Because <laughs> he like dance fights. That's right. Let's go. Landscape page. Pencil eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast. Start with eyes. So we got two hands in this. So it takes a bit of time. Two hands pointing up. They're not the most complicated hands, but hands always take a bit of time. So then his head is over the right hand side center point here just come over to the right a little bit we start with his eyes typical manga we go diagonal first then across the top all right and you thicken them up a little bit you want them to be darker than the other lines heavier lines extra line weight bottom eyelid just like a little sort of V sort of shape there. And then his iris, quite small. It's like he's looking to the left a little bit, where it's not bang in the middle. So his eyebrow then, so like going this way. Now he has gaps in his eyebrows, right? So, like pieces that are shaved. So there's these little sort of blocks. Every now and then. Okay, and then his eyelid lines. Like so, and then there's like a line for the side of his head there. Right, so his other eye, just across about eye width, maybe a little bit less. But we'll go, you can nearly fit an eye in between. Diagonal, and across. Make it a heavier sort of line. And bottom eyelid line. He's like looking over to the left again and his iris is real small. And a dot over, the, over this side. And his eyebrow, again, double shave. So you want to just like add these gaps and then like real skinny at the end. And thicker up the front, obviously. And then like frowning. And, oh yeah, his eyelid. He's got some lines underneath his eyes as well. So, for his nose, so we don't draw much in, so we just have like the side of his nose there. And then they do this kind of just V shape for the tip of his nose and his nostril at the side. Right. So his mouth's real wide, right? He's like super happy. So it's like it's real wide open in this cartoon like Joker size, like it's crazy big. And then we open it up. Real close to his chin down there now as well. Wonder if I could find the manga drawing. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's real wide open. And then we got like some teeth. Just coming across the top here. He doesn't draw in much detail for the teeth, just like that. And then bottom teeth. like that and then his tongue in the back he does have like a sort of a little mustache so his chin real close to the bottom lip coming around there and then the jaw goes real long up that way right beside the corners of his mouth And then we change our direction, go up this way. And he like draws it in as part of the ear. So it's a different way, right? So we just go a spike in and up. So it's just like they add the sort of ear bumps as part of the jawline, basically. And then we have his sideburn, like his hair line just up here at the top. And then the ear curves around here. Right, so like, so we do sort of the sideburn just here, and the ear again, part of that line. Not all animators do it that way, but it's just a different way of drawing it, I guess. It's probably like quicker, maybe. And then, hairline. Just up there. <clears throat> so then his forehead kind of like bumps around. It's got um, he has like real round hair. It's the only way I can describe it. It's like yeah, it's just like fluffy. <laughs> Right, so then this big hair of his. Right, so it kind of, this is the general shape, right? So that ear, yeah, it goes that way. And Then you've got like texture lines all in here. All right, so that's his head. So then anatomy, right? So, center line for the chest. It's always useful to find that. We're going to go that way. His chest muscles or collarbones go always go towards your shoulder muscles, right? Out from the top. So we'll go. We'll go this way. Okay? And then the bottom of his chest disappears up underneath here underneath like his shoulder or his armpit area. And he does have like muscle fiber lines. Ripped muscles. No nipples drawn in. <laughs> okay. Um, neck muscles always go down towards the center of the chest. Right, so another one going that way. Right, so he's kind of hunched over, right? So we've got like his trapezius muscles are kind of high up on the head. They like come out from the ear, right there. So it's like his back trap area, right? And your trapezius muscles usually have like little sort of shadows or like dimples that go in. So hatching is a useful way of doing this. 
and then he has like another sort of neck muscle that should go that way. So his hand comes up here and one hand goes that way. So this is kind of blocked off. So we'll go, we'll just finish this sort of chest here, right? And this shoulder sort of starts there. His deltoid muscles go that way. Okay, so that's like his shoulder there. We can see a bit more of the shoulder on this side. So we'll go around like so. Nice. And then the inner part, right? It's not really drawn in. It's got like broken lines. So like here, like his chest and his bicep will be here. It's kind of different. So like that. Then there. Then your delta muscle show that way. They drew it a different way, but I'll just draw what I know. So we'll go that way and then that way. Okay, so I think that's more accurate. Looks more accurate anyway. So no offense to the original artist, of course. What do I know? <laughs> so we can see like his forearm coming down here. And then, like it is, so that's like his elbow, making sense of things. Forearm goes up to wrist and hand there. This is like his elbow area. So technically, forearm goes to bicep, but he's probably super muscly, so. We can see tricep, perhaps. So bicep will go like that way. But he, like he's super muscly, so I would imagine this is like some tricep like coming down from the back. There somewhere. And then like his ribs or oblique muscles. Just like down there. And then we got like abs showing somewhere, like all going that way. And then like more ribs on this side, but it's mostly hand lines that you can only see. But we'll add some oblique muscles there. Right, so this image is like all about the sort of pose and the hands, right? So, say here at the back, right, his hand kind of goes into his wrist. So, we'll go with knuckles. One, two. We can see three. One. Two. Three. There, okay. And then his fingers on the other side. So say, bum, bum, bum. right. So the little finger here. So that's like a knuckle. And the square sort of fingers. And then the bottom of his hand, sort of the palm of his hand there. Going that way. And then top of that finger here, going that way. It's quite chunky. He's one finger shooting up this way. Super extended. Like 
so there's like some skin folding there and there so it looks like a thumb right but the thumb will be here So, tricky enough for that little hand position to draw because it's like not like coming towards us. So you gotta like make it quite big, like it's as big as his face, like the whole thing, the whole hand. See, because it's like extended out towards us, so you've got some like foreshortening going on. Basically, not easy that. So pause if you need to. Of course. Right. What way is the other one? How come we can only see one, two, three, four, five, and we can see five? Okay, let's give this a shot. So the other one like comes straight up here, like this is the side of the hand, right? right against the side of his body. Okay, so it goes this way. Next one, there, there. Goes down like this. So this is like his three fingers. And then there are knuckle lines all here. Like at the top of each finger. And then this comes up with an extended index finger again. These are real square sort of style fingers down to a knuckle down to the next knuckle and then comes like down to the back of the hand that's real wide and so it looks like his forearm goes like that way and that's like his wrist and everything muscles going back there and then we have top of his finger that way there's fingernail and then the thumb at the back kind of sticks out there kind of and then disappears into the back of the hand there. So that's that hand. Just put some extra lines, maybe it might help us. But we should see like his shoulder coming down like here and then well, maybe like his tricep so like going this way perhaps just some extra like muscle lines for his arm back there somewhere but that's it I think so yeah hakari dance hope it's helpful thanks for watching see you in the next one